Hello everybody, welcome back to Prognostic. We are going to be continuing our journey to find out what happened to our granny and why she's trying to kill us when we're just trying to do some good in the world. So, let's get into it. Let's do another couple of nights or days or whatever it is. I'm pretty sure they're nights, even though they say days. But anyway, we're going to figure all that out. And it is extremely hot. I have a fan going. I have a window open. There's lots of traffic. Yay, summertime. But anyway, let's get going. Let's take a look. We continue our days. Day 10. Murder at a masquerade. Our investigation has reached a dead end. I don't know what to do anymore. I thought Judge Brooks just moved out of town, but it turns out he died two years ago. In 1902, Judge Brooks was considered a significant figure who made the city what it looks like today, for better or for worse. It was said that he was going to run for mayor. His murder is still continues to worry several influential people. These people were with him at the time of the murder. They saw the woman who killed him. The problem is that the murder took place during a costume party at his home at Durham Road Number 5. We sifted out all the guests and servants who had an alibi. You will receive files of others. Maybe if we solve the, his murder, we will have new evidence on our old woman's case. I know that chance is small, but I have no more ideas left. Okay, so we need to send the killer's dossier, mark and send where the killer was at the hour of the crime, Send the killer's distinctive feature by performing dowsing, and send the killer's secret by performing the rune reading on him. So, see, we're also going to need to find where he was the hour, but we don't have the hour, we only have the year. So we need to first find out exactly when Frederick Brooks died. Then we have to do some dowsing rods, to find a feature, could say that he's a male or female, and that will get rid of half of the suspect pool. And doing a rune reading will also give us some clues. So let's start by doing the old wheel of Thanatos to find out exactly when Mr. Brooks died. And I took the long way around. I don't care. It's in here because the door is open. Yes, there, okay. there is no door. Alright, so Mr. Brooks died on August 21st, 1902. We just don't have the hour. 21st, right? Yes. And he's in August 14. August 14 puts him at Leo Fire. Leo Fire, that's right there. And he's a fire. First letter of his first name is an F, which puts the red arrow at the 8. Why is it that the lightning always starts when I do that? And fire. Oops. Wrong button. But the surname has identical letters, which it does. The letter of the surname is the first one. So a B. And the B is a 2. So, we're going to move the blue one to the two. August 21, 7 in the morning, but with the moon symbol, we have to add 12, so that is 19. So, we have his date of death. Date and time. Okay, so that's part one of what we need to do. So, now we can find out where everyone was at the time. Um... Dowsing rods. Okay, so let's do the dowsing rods. I'll put his dossier here. And then walk around crossing the object. Okay. Okay, so it seems like it's this way. Um. Maybe it's in that room. The door shut. Although I think the door 
It's me! I'm the object! Hearing it. Oh, it's upstairs. Okay. Not today, Granny. Whew. Okay. Upstairs. This way. Huh? Okay. It's in this room. In this cabinet. Cabinet. Is it? It's the teddy, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm pointing at. Okay, so it's the blue, the blue teddy. So let's go downstairs. I have to relight this anyway, so let's do that. So our dowsing rods are saying blue teddy. The blue teddy is what the dowsing rods have told us. Just gotta get back there. That's the wheel. Did I go in circles again? I'm always going in circles in this house. I mean, it's a weird layout. Okay, so it told us it was a blue teddy. So if it's a toy, the color of the toy shows the color of the murderer's eyes. Okay, so the eyes are blue. Okay. So, right away, let's open this up and we will see who has blue eyes. The killer has blue eyes. Eye color brown. You are innocent. You have blue. You're still a suspect. You have blue. You're still a suspect. You have black eyes. You're not a suspect. You have green eyes. You are not a suspect. You have blue. And you have brown. So now we're down to three people out of seven which is great all right so we've done the hour we've done the dousing so we need to do a rune reading which is upstairs so let's head into that room this one okay so we put the suspect dossier Edward and we put all of the coins in the coins all of the little stones in here get rid of the lying ones which are face up and then do the last one it looks kind of like a D that's Purisaz Purisaz is giant new post the target has lost or found a new job. Oh. Riley. Your turn. Get rid of these three. And what is it? It's kind of like a bra. <laughs> kind of looks like a bra. Upside down bra. Manaz. Person, person hides or change gender. Whoa. I heard that. Um, okay, so it's not on this floor, it's downstairs. Oh, that's going to make it more difficult. I think it's in here. Oh, shit. Woo, Granny! Glad I didn't run all the way in there. Okay, here comes Granny. Ooh, she's floating. I need her to come up so I can get down there and close the... I guess I could have ran to the other one, but that's okay. I don't mind looping the old Granny. 
It's not like you can come out of more than one mirror, right? A lot of candles on her little trip. Alright. So, we were over here. We were very close to dying there. Okay, so. Okay, I already clicked on it. Good. Alright, so now we have to do Kayla. Yo, Kayla. Might be able to get her done before our incense stick runs out. It's a uh, arrow. Taiwaz changed his name. Taiwaz. <laughs> all right, so we've done all three of our remaining suspects. Changed gender, changed name, lost or found a new job. So we've done the rune reading. We've done the dousing. Now I need to know where they were at the time of the ram. Yep, see? Exactly. Right time for that to run out. Just run through here. Relight it. Alright. Compass time. Isn't there supposed to be a... Missing a hallway here. What is going on here? No, oh, it's over here. I think there should be a candle. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh my god, all the candles are out here. So, Frederick, you died on August 21. In 1902, you died at 1900. Where were you? We were at 5 Durham Road, right? Right here. Durham, Durham, Durham. There. Now, where were our suspects? Edward. He was there. Where was Christopher? Also there. And where was Kayla? Not there. Kayla was no No. Go back where you came from, Granny. I'm busy. I'm trying to find out what happened to you, Granny. Okay. You were nowhere near. You were there. Which means that Kayla, I believe, was innocent. So we've got Edward and Christopher. So they were both there. And Edward lost or found a new job, which isn't really motive to kill someone. But Christopher hid or changed his gender, so it used to be a woman or something. Okay, so we know the two of them were there at the time of the murder. We know the dousing thing with the blue eyes. We know their secret. Maybe we should do... I don't think a tarot card's gonna give us anything. I mean, we can try. It'll probably just tell us, Hey, you know, we can't say anything. Use the runes. But it wouldn't hurt. 
going to just do it quick. <laughs> Branny! She gave me a startle. My foot hurts now from the adrenaline. High priestess. Temperance. It'll probably give us... Um, It'll probably give us the fool. After it gives us the whole deck first. Now, if it gives us the fool again, that's going to be weird. Start opening the cards one by one. Watch out for the death card 13. If you see it, don't open it further. Shuffle again and start from the beginning. die because I got the death card? Like... What? Woo! My god. That took me by surprise. <laughs> I wonder if we can just write in the, um write it in here. I don't think it changes. So if we just do this, we can quickly... Ah, oh, We actually have to move the stuff. Okay, so we know this was at Leo. And the red one was at the... Remember? This one was at the eight, right? So we got... Ah, oh, that's probably why. Okay. I'm gonna do the dousing rods quickly. I think it was because of the death card. I think that's what happened. That's some gross sound. Upstairs again, right? We might be able to get this part done before she tries hunting us. Balloon Teddy. This house is cursed. All right, so killer had blue eyes, right? Then we have to do the runes. Right, okay. I heard push button. I'm going to relight this. Granny! You're not supposed to do that. It's very mean. This was upstairs, right? Good. Now we've got a good amount of time. To do the runes and we can quickly go like this and be like yeah you are innocent you are innocent molly's innocent and she's innocent. we know which ones to grab Edward.
And he got the D, which is Perisaias. Oop. I don't know if I'm saying these right, but I forgot to change the dossier. I'm trying to do these as fast as I can to make up my time here. Yeah, the bra. The bra was my nails. It's gonna be the arrow again, Tyros. Jesus. All right, so that's done. Lift up. Try to kill me, Granny. Don't need you to try to kill me, Granny. I'm gonna relight my thingy again. Okay. So now we are working on our compass section. Check your going. Why do I keep going the wrong way? It's like I knew where it was on the first day. Okay. Victim. 1902. 21st. August. 1900 hours. You were at 5 Durham. Boom. You were there too. Boom. You were there too, boom. And you were not there. You were at number 10 something. There. So you were innocent. We just need to figure out. I think it's him, but I just want to make sure. We've already done. I wonder if we should try doing the Wheel of Thanatos on them. Maybe one of them is dead. Maybe one of them got killed at the same time. I don't know. Um, we could always try the tarot cards again, but not screw up this time. I think it was because I hit the death card. Whoop. Is it this one? No, it's not. It's upstairs. No, I'm not going to make it in time. But it won't take me long to put her back because I just have to pick a spot. Pick a direction and go and put her back where she belongs. Go back to where you came from. Okay. Now it says if at any time you get. Yeah, shuffle again. Okay, justice. Look at that. Right away. Boom. The magician. Number one. Killer used a false identity. Okay, so now we definitely have our evidence to say, hey. What's going on? To say that it was definitely... We in the red light district. We in the red light district. See, I don't know if this is just a temporary thing. I mean, am I supposed to do this? Fix it, like. Like, do I do it again? Because it's still happening. Like, I don't know. I think it's a time-based. Yeah. 
Okay. So it wants three clues. Killer's dossier, which I believe is Christopher. Um, but let's let's do this first. Because he changed his name or his identity, right? Hiding who he is. I think he's innocent. It was just a job. They speak about him very well. And what did they say about Christopher? Formal informer. Yeah, and he left town. Okay, so send the killer's dossier. Christopher, why? Because he hid or changed his gender. He was there at the time of the murder. And he used a false identity, right? Oh, we should, um... Mark and send where he was at the hour of the case. Let's do it. Where he was at the hour of the crime. He was at the crime scene. His distinctive feature, based on the dowsing, he has blue eyes. And the secret... His secret is he changed or hid his gender. Right? Those are the only three things we need. Where was he? His dowsing thing and his... Reading. Yeah, boo, boo, boo. we got an achievement behind the mask. This young reporter sacrificed his morality and went for murder to help the town. He pretended to be someone else to commit murder, and this gave me an idea. There was something missing in the death of our old woman. She had no debts. She had no enemies left who wanted her death. The only few people she spoke to before the murder have been alibis have alibis. I checked everybody, even you, except one. I used to think she was killed in her sleep. Perpendicular wounds, strength that decreased with every blow, were suggesting that. But there is another option. Suicide. She staged a robbery, then put a knife to her chest and began stabbing herself as long as she could. She did everything to make her death look like the murder of our parents. So that... We can start an investigation, so you can take her place. All of this is part of her plan, and I'm afraid that soon we will find out exactly what she's up to next. Alright, so what's on the next night? Day 11, shot next door tunnel. What does the tunnel have to do with this madness? I'm sorry, but right now I can't discuss your nightmares. I couldn't get enough sleep myself. I saw how my boss died yesterday. I stood a step away from him. There was a loud clap and a bullet pierced his chest. An eerie sight to behold. What's worse is that we were in our department at 4 Pinner Street. Judging by the trajectory, the shot was fired from the roof of one of the neighboring buildings. To complicate matters further, the boss announced the upcoming layoffs last month. We suspect it could have been one of us. Eee. Send the killer's dossier. Mark and send where the killer was at the hour of the crime. He couldn't be near the target. Send the killer's distinctive feature by performing a dowsing. And send the relation to the killer by performing a tarot reading. So, we need to find out exactly what time he died. Because we know that he died yesterday, which would be December 3rd. But we don't have the exact time. So, as usual, let's start with the Thanatos wheel. See? I'm remembering where I'm going. Alright. Mr. Man... You died yesterday, December 3rd, 1904. But we don't know what hour. Mr. Darbel, Brooks Darbel, you are June 1st. You are a Gemini heir. Gemini, just like my kitty cat. And heir, a third letter of the name or the first if it has less than three. So B-R-O. O is a seven. 
red arrow to uh, the seven. And here, if there are more than five letters in the surname, yes, it's the fifth one, right? Okay. D A R V I. I would be one, so blue to the one. So. Why is it saying that he died on November 20th at 10 in the morning? Huh? Is that right? November 20th. This guy's living in the pan at 10 in the morning. If this says it's right. Okay, well then how come it gives us the date of December 4th? I saw how he died yesterday. Well, you shouldn't have the date down here if it's not going to actually make any sense. But anyway, so now we know when he died. So if we do the compass thingy, we can see where everyone was at the time of his death. And we can start there. He died at 10 in the morning on the 20th of November. Why? Why are you flipping out? I did something wrong, right? It was the 20... 11, 20, 10 in the morning. I'm not hearing any whispering. Did my candle go out? What is going on here? Eleven twenty nineteen oh four. Eleven twenty. Oh. Hmm. Hee <laughs> hee. And now I gotta go upstairs. Go away, Granny. Um, let's put a new candle. Here. a quick way yeah look at that just in time okay back to compass land okay so we got the the hour the month and the day right this time so it'll be like where were you at the time of your murder you were on pinner street four pinner where was Samson? He was there. Where was Jordan? He was... Oh! What am I supposed to do during this? If I just... Okay, so, wow, we've got one innocent guy who was at the same place as Brooks. So, guess what, Samson? You are innocent. Everyone else, you guys are nuts. Forming a dousing on the victim. Okay, so that's what we're going to do next. She's going to 
might come out too. Alright, dousing. Brooks. It's upstairs. the dousing rods will tell us too if she decides to show up. See? Just like that. It turned red. They're telling us which mirror. Oh, that's so cool too. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get it, get it, get it. Woo -hoo -hoo, granny. Not today, granny. Okay. In here in this room. What? What is it? I can't see what you're pointing at. The bedding? The pillow? The white pillow? Okay. Didn't know that the white pillow was an object. That would make any sense, but... We'll see what it says. If it says anything about bedding. A white pillow. <laughs> Clothing, painting, but... Uh. Well, we can still read this. Bed. The murderer is 29 or younger. Yes. Okay. So, obviously, Jordan is long, older than 29. He's 24. Four, and he's 27, so Jordan has been deemed innocent. So that leaves two people left. Alright, so we've done the dousing, and we've done Thanatos to find out where he was. So now we just need to do the tarot cards. Alright. And don't keep taking cards if you see the death card. For some reason it went in my mind that if we already did all the shuffling stuff that it was okay, but I don't know. Alright, so we need to do tarot cards. It's a hermit. It's a It's a or it's a just this. Meaning our card is the chariot number seven. The killer is a colleague. Chariot number seven. But isn't that who these people are? I thought he got fired a month ago. Today he came to work claiming that he was only sent on vacation. Can you check it with the runes? Okay, yeah, we can make sure. And George, he's a recent hire. He asked about me. Though I don't remember that I mentioned him in our talks. Okay, so one may have been fired. And one... Is a recent hire. Okay, so let's do the route. I'm gonna do this connection. I don't know she decides to show her ugly mug. Mm -hmm. So let's start with Patrick. Last one is a a D. D is Parisa's new post. We lost or found. It's downstairs. It's right there. I'm not gonna make that in time. Yeah, she's good. Uh, oh, I did get in time. Surprise, surprise. I didn't think I was going to make that in time. Okay. 
Got to purses. Found or lost a new job, which meant he was fired. And George. Which means that he's not a colleague, which means he's innocent, which would mean that this guy's our suspect. Our murderer. But let's double check and see what this runes have to say. It's an S. Ansus. Ansus. God, a crisis or finding a new faith. And he is definitely our guy. Because how would he know about me without anyone talking about me? I guess nothing really crazy happened. Alright, so. I guess we should go like this and say, yeah, he's innocent. He doesn't even work. <laughs> George is our murderer. Alright. Send where he was at the time of the crime. He was not at the building. Dousing. 29 or younger. And the tarot music card reading. One of us is the achievement we just got. One of us. We found a makeshift altar in his house with two photographs on it. Our photos. Cook didn't want to kill our captain. He aimed at me. My colleague, a policeman, tried to kill me. And you should be next. I don't know what is threatening this town, but now it's gunning for us. I... I need a drink. Alright. Day 12. Hey guys, I know normally we would do day 12 because we would do three days per video. However, day 12 had a lot of extra things going on where it took a little longer than I had planned. So that one is in its own video. Don't forget to like the video if you did. It helps the channel out and subscribe if you have not done so yet. And that's all for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>